In the second video, we're going to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. We'll be comparing generative AI with what we call conventional or traditional AI. Before we dive into our comparison, let's quickly recap what we learned about generative AI in our previous video. Generative AI is a subset of machine learning that's capable of creating new, original content. This content can take various forms, text, images, music, video, even 3D models. What sets generative AI apart is its ability to produce outputs that didn't exist before, rather than simply analyzing or categorizing existing data. We discussed how generative AI works by ingesting vast amounts of data, recognizing patterns within that data, building a complex internal model, and then using that model to generate new content. We also explored some of the most popular applications of generative AI, such as ChatGPT for text generation, DAL-E for image creation, and various AI tools for music composition and video synthesis. Now, let's turn our attention to conventional AI, also known as traditional AI. Conventional AI refers to the broader category of AI systems that have been in use for several decades. These systems are designed to analyze existing data, interpret it, and make decisions or predictions based on that analysis. Conventional AI encompasses a wide range of technologies and approaches. It includes everything from rule-based expert systems to modern machine learning algorithms. The key characteristic of conventional AI is that it operates within predefined parameters to solve specific, well-defined problems. Let's look at some examples of conventional AI that you might encounter in your daily life. 1. Recommendation systems. When you're shopping online and see product recommendations, or when your music streaming service suggests new songs you might like, that's conventional AI at work. These systems analyze your past behavior and compare it with data from other users to make predictions about what you might enjoy. 2. Fraud detection. Banks and credit card companies use conventional AI to monitor transactions and flag potentially fraudulent activity. These systems learn patterns of normal behavior and can identify anomalies that might indicate fraud. 3. Autonomous vehicles. Self-driving cars use a combination of sensors and AI algorithms to navigate roads, recognize objects, and make driving decisions. This is a complex application of conventional AI that involves real-time data analysis and decision-making. 4. Speech recognition. When you use voice commands with your smartphone or smart home device, you're interacting with a conventional AI system that's been trained to recognize and interpret human speech. 5. Medical diagnosis. In healthcare, AI systems are being used to analyze medical images and patient data to assist in diagnosing diseases. These systems can often detect patterns that might be missed by human doctors. Now that we've introduced both types of AI, let's focus on the fundamental difference between them. This difference lies in their primary functions. Conventional AI is primarily focused on analysis and decision-making. It takes in data, processes it according to its training, and produces an output in the form of a decision, prediction, or classification. The key point here is that conventional AI is working with existing data and producing results based on that data. Generative AI, on the other hand, is focused on creation. While it also takes in data and processes it, its primary function is to generate new, original content that didn't exist before. This content is based on patterns learned from the training data, but it's not simply a reproduction or combination of existing elements, it's genuinely new. To illustrate this difference, Let's consider an example in the realm of language processing. A conventional AI language model might be used for sentiment analysis. You could feed it a bunch of product reviews, and it would analyze the text to determine whether each review is positive, negative, or neutral. It's taking existing text and categorizing it. A generative AI language model, like GPT-3, could be given a prompt to write a product review. Based on its training, it would generate an entirely new review that didn't exist before. It's creating new text, not just analyzing existing text. The nature of input and output for these two types of AI also differs significantly. Conventional AI typically takes in structured data as input. This could be numerical data, categorical data, or text that's been pre-processed into a structured format. The output is usually a decision, prediction, or classification. 
For example, a credit scoring AI might take in a customer's financial history as input and output a credit score or a yes-no decision on a loan application. Generative AI, however, can handle a wider variety of inputs and outputs. The input could be a text prompt, an image, a piece of music, or even a combination of different types of data. The output is typically a new piece of content in the same medium as the input, or sometimes in a different medium. For instance, a text-to-image generative AI might take a text description as input and produce a new image as output. This flexibility in input and output is one of the things that makes generative AI so versatile and powerful. The way these AI systems learn is also quite different. Conventional AI often uses supervised or unsupervised learning techniques. In supervised learning, the AI is trained on labeled data. It's shown inputs along with the correct outputs, and it learns to map between them. In unsupervised learning, the AI is given data without labels and tries to find patterns or structures within it. Generative AI frequently employs more complex learning techniques. One common approach is adversarial learning where two AI models are pitted against each other. One tries to generate convincing fake data, while the other tries to distinguish between real and fake data. Through this process, the generator becomes increasingly good at producing realistic outputs. Another key technique in generative AI is the use of transformer architectures, which allow the AI to understand and generate content with a deep understanding of context and relationships within the data. The learning process for generative AI often requires much larger data sets and more computational power than conventional AI. This is because generative AI needs to learn not just how to analyze data, but how to recreate the complex patterns and structures within it. Choosing between conventional and generative AI depends on the specific problem you're trying to solve. Use conventional AI when you have a well-defined problem with clear objectives you need to analyze large amounts of structured data, or you require high accuracy in prediction or classification tasks. It's also ideal when you have limited computational resources. On the other hand, use generative AI when you need to create new original content, or you're dealing with open-ended or creative tasks. It's also useful when you want to explore a wide range of possible solutions, need to generate synthetic data, or you're working with natural language in a way that requires deep understanding. The future, combining both types. As we look to the future, one of the most exciting prospects is the combination of conventional and generative AI. By leveraging the strengths of both types, we can create even more powerful and versatile AI systems. Imagine, for example, a system that uses conventional AI to analyze market trends and consumer behavior, and then feeds that analysis into a generative AI that creates new product designs based on those insights. Or consider a medical AI that uses conventional techniques to diagnose diseases from patient data, and then employs generative AI to create personalized treatment plans. We're also likely to see advancements that blur the lines between these two types of AI. Recap. Key differences. As we wrap up, let's recap the key differences between conventional and generative AI1. Primary function. Conventional AI analyzes and decides. Generative AI creates. Two, task types. 